Hey you guys, it's me, Manny here. Um, so this is going to be my second video for this vlog thing, and then starting next Wednesday, I'm going to be doing it every Wednesday, so I'm not going to be posting a video every day. Um, so I've got a, actually a few replies on my Tumblr. Um, I might put a URL below, so you can actually send any comments or uh, criticism or any other topics you want me to talk about. But today I decided to talk about virgins. Now, like I said before about the video uh, beforehand, that it's not going to be nothing about sexually, though that's going to be part of it I'm going to speak about. I'm going to be talking about virgins as first time. First time flirting, first time kissing, first time coming out. And um, I think everybody sees it differently. And I think a lot of people want to see it as one thing. Oh, there's only one way to come out. There's only one way to flirt. There's one way of everything. And the thing is, it's not, it's not true. It there's multiple ways depending on where you are with who you're doing it with. Um, for me, uh, when I flirt, for the first time I tried flirting, it was a disaster. Um, for me, coming out to a guy was my way of flirting because I thought he was too, which he was, but um, I thought that was enough. And it took a while before I realized that he never got interested in it. He was never knew how to flirt. Nowadays, I'll just say puns, uh, switch the words, put emphasis on words, um, and so on and so forth. Um, kissing. Uh, for me, my first kiss obviously was with a girl. She kind of slammed her face against mine, and it wasn't a really good experience. Um, but my first kiss with the guy was also awkward. I kind of kissed his nose. It was in the dark, okay? So, I mean, I have to give him credit for that. Um, but for other people, they're so afraid of how should it be the first kiss? Should it be after a first date? It should it be after a certain amount of time? And really, it just like sex, just like anything else for the first time, it's when you feel comfortable. It doesn't have to be, oh. You know, after this certain day, after this certain time frame, or after this certain event, you have to do it. And it's really just when it feels right. A lot of people need to understand it's when it feels right to you, not just because society says so. Um, sex. Now, here's the thing about sex. Um, it's true, and a lot of people have said so. Sex is neither good nor bad. Um, a lot of people try to exploit one or the other. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily good to be over excessive about it, but I also don't want people to think, and there are people out there who are religious, I'm sorry, but a lot of a lot of religious based think too much sex is a sin or having sex before your marriage is, is a sin. People need to understand that we're biologically made to mate. Now, is that for population? Maybe. But also because it's part of us and it's enjoyable. Now, I believe if two consent people agree and respect each other and just want for fun, I don't see any bad in it. Um, if you want to wait to get married, if you want to do it at 16 or whatever, it's up to you. Um, just don't bash people just because they enjoy it. Don't tell people, oh, you did it before this or all after two weeks or you haven't even been dating he's just a friend so what sex is sex everyone has it and people need to start thinking that it's good or bad it's just what it is same with masturbating or something like that it is what it is we're it's our way of functioning I guess um first time tricking off is a horrible experience for us I guess because we're so afraid of the outcome like I didn't know my body could do this. And after first time having sex with someone, um, some people have that spiritual connection. Some people just get disappointed. Um, I think it's a, depending on who you did it with, it really does matter. For me, I think it's intimidating if I would ever dated someone and they tell me they're a virgin. Um, because I would, even, I would actually prefer them have an experience because at least, okay, you know, police are both almost on the same page. But someone who's a complete virgin, I just think that's that freaks me out because it's so much a responsibility. 
I'll be there first. Um, when I lost mine, it was also with the Virgin. So we were both new at it, so I felt comfortable. I thought we were at the same page. But it's it's it, it's a lot of pressure, and maybe for some of y'all it is. For some of y'all, y'all think it's like a fetish or a kink. Uh, oh, I go with first times. And I mean, if you, if you view it one way, I guess. But for me, I, I just, it wouldn't stop me, but I guess that's intimidating. Um, and for other people to have so many stories on how they came out, either they've been uh, violated at a young age, but they don't see it that way, or they were messing around with friends and it happened, or with an older person over the same age, uh, from 15 till maybe till they turn 18. There's so many different stories out there. Um, but like, the, like mostly everything, you know, it really depends on when you feel comfortable. Do it when it, what makes you feel comfortable. Don't do it because someone's pressuring you. Don't because society tells you to. Or don't do it because someone tells you to. Do it or don't do it. Um, but yeah, the whole thing about virgin everything, you know, being a virgin, kissing, virgin dating, virgin coming out. Ooh, coming out story. Um, first time coming out to my parents. Um, a lot of tears, a lot of crying. In the beginning, they were very accepting, but later they turned the worst. Um, I expected the worst from them, and they didn't kick in until two days later. And although other people, uh, they they have really good stories. Um, I've never till this day I don't get teased. Um, high school I don't get teased. Um, a lot of people do, and for that, my heart goes to y'all. Uh, but, you know, it, it just, people need to decide to come out or not. And it really angers me, people to say, oh, why are you in the closet? Or you should come out, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's, it takes time. I, maybe that person needs to remember how they came out for the first time. It takes time. And maybe the situation they are in, they can't. They just can't until they're completely out of their environment um my project for y'all is if just let me know comments below on youtube or just uh put it on my tumblr which i will leave my url down below um god i feel like i'm copying um uh one of the users uh subscribers i watch but um yeah, just uh, give me your first time story, first time flirting, first time coming out, first time sex, first time anything, and leave it below, and I can try to incorporate that. Um, I've had a lot of uh, good concepts, good things to talk about for my next episode. Uh, this come up Wednesday. Um, there are a few out there that I, I, I want to decide. I want to even put up something on Tumblr to see who, which one, one would y'all like to do. Also, um, I'm not going to be the type of person to edit videos out when I make a mistake, because everyone makes mistakes, you know, no one's perfect. And I want people to see, you know, I t take time to think, I stutter, and that's just who I am. So thanks for watching, and hopefully y'all will continue watching on my next few episodes. Bye.